Cheers everyone, thanks for joining me for another beer review. We're off to Hull with this one, and it's a new brewery to me and the channel. And we are off to Atom Brewing Co. Well, I'm guessing it's Atom Brewing Co. or Atom Brewery. And we have a can of their Troposphere, New England IPA, coming in at 6%. It's a 440ml can, and this cost me £4.25 from Trembling Madness. Like I say, it's the first beer I've had from them. Very kind of plain, but kind of sleek looking artwork. Now I do like a New England, certainly getting into more, the more I drink of them. We're gonna chuck it in that glass because I don't have an Atom Brewing glass or Atom Brew Co glass. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. They're from Hull, by the way. And we've got a visitor coming up now. So excuse me if I end up opening the curtain so she can go and sit in the window. There is a little bit left in there, just bear with me. Come on, cat. Go on then, get behind there. The old girl will go and do a bit of sunbathing now. So, there is still a little bit left in there, but beer in a glass as we see it now. Uh, sort of like a deep orange, well not orange. <laughs> It's a, a deep, thick, orange-looking <laughs> colour. We've got just a dust in a white on top. But it looks like a New England, as you'd expect. It's always funny in these glasses, because it always looks very pale on the bottom there. So uh, let's dive in on the nose. Give it a swirl. And uh, see what we get. What does it say on here? New England IPA. Uh, hops. Let me see. Let me see. Water, malted wort barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. Doesn't say anything about the hops on there. Not by the looks of it. So let's dive in on the nose, have a sniff. A little bit muted if I'm totally honest. Hoppy and tropical is, is the big thing really there for me. Let's try and get the rest in. We'll stick with a uh, hoppy and tropical on the nose and uh, see what we get. £4.25, like I say, from Trembling Madness. Now, if it's decent, when you compare some of the craft beer that you get in the supermarkets now, yeah, it used to be that you'd get a belter for three quid, and then it would be a belter for three fifty. Now, you're paying up to four quid for standard sort of uh, craft beer in supermarkets. So if this is, if this is decent at £4.25, it's looking like it's a way to go just to go online and buy a decent one. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Okay. Whether this glass is doing it any favours, I don't know, but I'm not really had any issues with this glass before with beers. body on this it's not massively thick it's not massively dense it's not massively heavy but it does have a good body but it does feel a little bit oh see how many downsides this bloody glass I always spill it everywhere there are bubbles in there but it just feels a little bit dead and lifeless it feels lost without a nice head on it There's carbonation in there, but it's virtually non-existent. There's virtually nothing there really in carbonation. Very smooth, and it is very soft. It's really soft. The mouthfeel is uh, I'll tell you how sort of soft it is. It's like a freshly washed cotton duvet cover, or that fluffy cotton duvet cover. And it, that's how it feels across the palate. It's real soft and sort of fluffy on the mouth. Taste wise. First thing I'm hit with, a little bit of bitterness, gentle bitterness, and it is gentle. The hop taste, and then the tropical sort of flavors coming after that. 
yeah it's all in there i will try and give it another swirl we'll see if it's just me being a bit gentle on the pour but we'll see if we can get some that's better in here see if we can get some sort of life into it but even then it's it's only really a, a thin dusting on there Hoppy, gentle bitterness, tropical, juicy fruit bowl sort of taste. 6%, no inkling of it there. Literally just the bitterness that gives you some kind of inkling. You, you maybe get a little bit of pine in there, but I don't know. I'm not sure you do. But, I mean, it's an enjoyable drop. You certainly can't say it's a bad beer. It's an enjoyable drop. Is it the best New England I've had? No. Is it the worst? Nowhere near. But it's it's not a bad drink. Would I dabble into them a bit more? Yeah. I would give them another go. Because I don't think that's a bad beer. It, you, you, when you try so many beers, you have expectations of certain things. You expect them to be this, that and the other. And sometimes, you know, is that down to them brewing a bad beer or down to just your own expectations? I think on this occasion, maybe my expectations were a little bit high. I don't know. But it's not a bad beer. So Atom <coughs> Troposphere, New England IPA coming in at 6%. Is it worth a go? Yeah, give it a go. It doesn't have to be a massively heavy body to be a decent beer. So I wouldn't say ignore what I say, but just be aware it's maybe a bit lighter than some. But yeah, decent drop. Give it a go. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.